Hello, I'm Chef Shabshul. Along with five other influencers from the Middle East, we have been invited by the French Dairy Board and the European Union to discover everything there is to know about butter. In this episode, we met one of the best craftsmen in France, presenting chef Georges Larnico. He uses the very same butter we saw coming out of the factory in the last episode. Let's see what he prepared for us. So, we go. Yeah. J'adore le beurre. Alors la relation, bah ouais, elle est amoureuse avec le beurre. C'est pour tout. Ça va pas plus loin. Alors, un, un beurre de qualité, c'est un beurre où il y a un taux d'humidité à l'intérieur. Et cette eau, c'est pas de l'eau qu'on rajoute, bien sûr, c'est du petit lait. Un beurre qui est très chargé en humidité va avoir ce côté noisette qui va être absolument euh, floral, extraordinaire, explosif. Alors, en plus, c'est un très bon support euh, de sucre, de sel. Donc, il va exhauster les arômes. Dentifrice ou beurre, c'est pareil, on s'en sert tous les matins. <rire> After a little tour, it was our turn to prepare the famous bread and butter cake. The Cunha. How do you say it? Cunha man. Cunha man. Cunha man. Cunha I really liked the Cunha man. It was amazing, full of butter. Uh, the recipe is only butter, sugar, and dough. Third butter, third sugar and third dough. Il n'y a pas plus simple, hein? un tiers, un tiers, un tiers. Hein? Euh, C'est tout bête en fin de compte, hein? c'est vraiment tout bête. Mais ça reste le fait de travailler le cognamant euh, de cette façon simple qu'on a vu tout à l'heure, mais quand même avec beaucoup de sensualité parce qu'il faut sentir les ingrédients. C'est une des identités profondes de la gastronomie euh, bretonne. Honestly, I feel very lucky to be on this trip, uh, meeting all these uh, amazing, amazing chefs and learning from them. Um, and it was just incredible to see him in action, to learn all the tips and tricks from him, how he uses salted butter in his uh, kyunaman, and how it really, really, really lifts the flavor of the entire um, dessert. Just, we had a bite after, it was absolutely delicious and it was the most magnificent dessert I've ever tasted. Very simple, but the way the sugar and the butter caramelized together and just gave this beautiful flaky, crispy layer to the dough was just incredible. And I didn't expect it would be that good. I really, really liked it. It's, it was amazing. <laughs> I approve. I wasn't surprised to be uh, to be honest that he is like very picky regarding choosing the best ingredients and he knows exactly how the butter is made and it's the right uh, option for the pastries they're making and I think this is what really represents a lot of what for me french ingredients are all about it's a celebration of quality ingredients and in simple recipe formats and the end result is something spectacular. So we woke up at 4 a.m. this morning to go to a farm here uh, on the outskirts of Nantes. If we don't have any product quality, we won't make good plates, just simply. 